everyone. Welcome to Sherry's Tube. Do it again, do it. Let's do it again. Do it again, do it again. I'm gonna do it again. Do it, do it again. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Shades Two. And I'm back again this weekend to give you guys a brand new haul. And I just want to say I hope you guys had a great past two weeks. And I hope your weekend is going great. And I also want to say thank you to my new subbies. I really appreciate you guys um, subbing to my channel. Also, thanks to my subbies that were already here with me. I appreciate you too. And also, I appreciate all you guys. Um, thumbs up and um, just viewing my video or videos and for any feedback you gave. Alrighty? You can follow me on social media at, at Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course on here. And... Um, yeah, you can check out my book, The Baby Mama. Well, not my book, but the book that I co-wrote. You know, um, The Baby Mama Chronicles at createspace.com and amazon.com. Or you can take out, check out our uh, Facebook page titled The Baby Mama Chronicles. Hold on for one second, please. As I was saying, um, I actually forgot what I was saying because I had to put the phone on. I mean, this so um, whole, but I think I was telling you about The Baby Mama Chronicles. You can go to the Facebook page title the same thing and check out our book and um i mean it's still the same information that was on there before i may have added maybe one or two things since we published the book and everything but you know you can just go to the page and learn more about the book and um you know about the authors and things like that all right again um, i don't know if i did this before because this is like my second time recording this video but anyway if you like this video you can thumbs up this video um, if you're not subbed to my channel already, you can sub. Uh, you can leave feedback below too. And if you didn't share this video before or have never shared any of my videos, you can share this one if you like, okay? So let me go ahead and do a quick review on some things that I bought at Dollar Tree and from the 99 cent store real quick, okay? The first thing I want to do a review on is this um, strawberry lip balm that I got from the 99 cent store a couple of weeks ago. This lip balm, I bought it for my two girls. They, they said they'd like it. They say that it comes on smooth and um, has a consistent, um, what am I talking about? They say <laughs> it comes on <laughs> smooth and the consistency is good. It's smooth, it's um, not all, you know, like some lip glosses be, just feel yucky. This feels pretty good. That's what they're trying to say. Um, the scent is pretty nice or the flavor is pretty nice. They come in different flavors like strawberry is the red one. The pink one is cherry, and the purple one is berry, I believe. And the only thing that is a trip out thing about this lip balm is that it is um, hard to open, okay? It's very hard to open. But once you get it open, it's easier to open afterwards, okay? So, yeah, so, so far, I would give this a great rating. And, they're, and then also, they're not, they are not um, allergic to it either, so that's a good thing. So, so far, I would give it a, um, a great rating. It does last a long time, too. They tell me it lasts a long time, okay? So I give this a great rating. So if you see this at your 99 cent store, you may want to pick it up, okay? Then these earbuds that I bought um, two weeks ago, too. These are okay. They're not great because they're, you know, cheap. You know, but these are something that you can use if you need some earbuds in a quick hurry because your other one's broke or something you may want to buy for your children, you know, because they do break them all the time. But just like if you don't really care about earbuds or anything like that. And you, you don't care if it has a mic or not. These will work good for you. Okay. These are by Power Up. So, you know, like I said. If they don't matter to you about the sound quality or anything like that. These would be a good purchase for you. And these are at the Dollar Tree. Okay. So that's it with the review on those two products. Now I'm going to go ahead and do my Dollar Tree haul for the one being in time because I did this video a couple times before, but every time I start doing doing it, somebody you know start leaving me um, you know video messages and stuff, and then it you know stopped my video, then I had to just erase it and do it all over again. But anyway, let me go ahead and start doing this video. I mean this haul, and this is Dollar Tree DT. As you can see, they're bags that you have to pay for here in California, in Southern California, okay? So the first thing I want to show you are this, uh, it's this burlap ribbon. 
This is in a chevron pattern, burgundy, one of my favorite colors. This is so cute. Yeah, I like that. Nine feet. Yeah, I can do some things with this when I move. Okay. Then I got this one right here. Um, that's pretty cute, huh? The little burgundy dots and stuff. Yeah. Be cute to put around a um flower vase or something like that. That's what I'm gonna use mine for, okay? Then they have some A1 sauce. They always bring this out around barbecue season and at the beginning of school year. So I picked up two of these. I may go back and get some more too. These are the five ounce containers. They last until 2020. That could be a good thing and it could even be a bad thing because you want to you say to yourself, how can it last that long? But you know, who knows? Just don't use that much of it, okay? That's all I can say. So we don't eat that much red meat, but when I do eat it, I would like to have this, you know, A1 sauce. They also had that Heinz one as well, okay, which is bigger. Then I got one of these um, planners for 2018 because even though I put everything in my phone, if your phone happened to go out and lose data, you can have information in here to bag up your phone. But I, I also would store mine on my cloud, but just in case all that stuff goes out, you can still have this. And then sometimes you just don't want to pull out that phone and go through all the mess to look up something. You may just want to pull out, pull out this to look up um, dates or phone numbers or whatever if you don't remember them. It has a phone book in the back, and then it has this in the front, okay, which is the um, event um, planner for 2018, and it has a very nice pattern on the front, and they have different patterns there, so you may want to check them out, okay? This is that coloring book pattern that they use, that people like to color, the adult coloring book, so I just like that's pretty cute. I don't want to color, but I like that pattern. Then I bought... A letter holder, I think that's what this is. And they had different ones with initials, so I got S for Sharon because that's my name. But I'm going, no, this is a picture holder actually. I am going to use mine for when I'm at the computer to put my paper here. And uh, like if I want to type something off my paper, you know, because of my business and stuff, and then I can put the paper here and then type it from that without worrying about the paper falling. So that's what I'm going to use mine for. But these are picture um, holders. Okay, so that's pretty cute. They had all types of initials too. Then I bought a pack of Huggies, baby wipes, 32 in the pack. We already know that Huggies are one of the best baby wipes you can use. So I, I got like two packs of these from Dollar Tree. Then I got me some more makeup remover facial wipes. This is the only brand that I use because I'm allergic to everything. And so far, and I've been using these for a long time, I have not developed an allergic reaction. There are um, 40 in here, and I usually just fold mine in half because I don't really wear nothing but eyebrow stuff and a little concealer anyway underneath my eyes, and that's it. You know, so it's pretty good to take that off, okay? Then I bought some more Tylenol, and you know, I don't really need to talk about much about Tylenol because we know that this is the um, regular ones. This uh, expiration date is 2020, and there are three packs, six tablets in here. Tylenol. Just don't take too many of them. Then I bought some ibuprofen for my daughter, my 17-year-old, okay? And these are the 40 coated tablets. These work the same as the other ones. This is by Assured, the only brand that I use at Dollar Tree, okay? And they work basically the same as the other ones. And then I bought some of these rounds, cotton rounds by, by Assured again. 80 rounds are in here. These are pretty good for removing eye makeup, and I also wash my face with these. I apply, you know, Dove moisturizer on my face, then I, you know, wash my face with these. As well as, you know, using for blotting my face with cool water. Which is good. Which is a good thing to do. Sorry about that noise. Okay, one good thing that I like what they had this week. Because of school, they had these back. The Snyder's of Hanover um, 8 count value pack bags for a dollar. So I got like three packs of these because I thought that was a really good deal. It, you know, these are pretty good. I have, I bought these before. And these are pretty good. Okay, so I got three packs of these. I should have got more. Because, you know, they don't last that long. Once they're gone, you would never see them again. Okay? So, yeah. These are the salted ones, too, I believe. I don't know if they have unsalted ones in here, but I don't really eat these that much anyway because of the salt. And anyway, it's 120 milligrams of salt in it, too, okay? And seven, no, no trans fat, but, you know, you just look at the, you know, the ingredients below and you'll see what it contains, okay? But those are pretty good. Just don't eat too many of them, like anything, you know? 
Then I bought some of the deep clean cavity fillers. You already know about these. They're good for your Swifter. And they do get that dirt up and they last a while. You know, they don't tear up or come off or anything like that. So they, this is a really good buy, the Swifter. Well, these um, deep cleaning pad refills for your Swifter. There are four in each one, okay? And I've been buying those forever. Then I bought myself one of these little um, novelty pens because I like these. I collect these and get different ones. And they had the flower ones this time, so I got one. I may get another one, but for right now, I just got one to put in my little pen holder so I can put it on my desk and just make it look even more beautiful. I won't put it out till I move, so I got that. I don't even know how it writes. Let me check and see how it writes. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, it writes pretty good. I'm shocked because usually the pen's going to be writing, but this is what it writes like, if you can see it. So um, let's see. Yeah, so that's pretty good if you want to write it. I probably will never write with this. I'm just using it for decor. You can actually make these, but I, I mean, it looks neater the way they did it. Okay. Then, of course, I bought those round, those um, aluminum pants. I'm just going to do them like that. Okay. So, I bought two packs of these, which I lined with the wax paper because they talk about aluminum so much. But, you know, just try not to use it that much because everything in this world today has something that causes something in it. Okay. Then, I bought my son some of these little... Um, Adventures in Learning that I use along with my other books for his school when it started back in September. This is the Time and Money one by Disney, and I looked at this already, and that's what it looks like on the inside. I got just 16 minutes, so I got to hurry up. And then I got this uh, Word Problem one, Multiplication and Division for him, so that's pretty good for third or fourth grade. Okay, and those are um, 38 things are in there. Then I bought some trash bags to put blankets and stuff in when I move. I just got two packs because there are five in each one because I'm going to double the bags up so they can be stronger. And that's my good sense. Those are the large ones. They had these cute little um, flower things. I bought these, these dancing flowers. These are cute. I bought them for their windows when we moved to put in their windows in their bedroom. Those are really cute. Yep, got some cute stuff. I bought some Listerine mouthwash. Not Listerine, but some um, antiseptic mouthwash by Assured in the original flavor. Okay, this is the um, 500 milliliter. It works pretty good. It, it freshens your breath, and I guess it helps with gingivitis and plague and all that stuff. Because I haven't had any problems with it, and I've been using that for a while. And I got some more Aim Precision Dental Floss. There are 60 in here. This works pretty good. It's pretty durable, and it gets the job done, okay? And I floss all the time. I need to stop. There are 60 in there. Then we bought a pack of cookies, chocolate chip by Betty Crocker. Um, and hopefully my daughter don't mess these up. And the expiration, they're pretty fresh. They, don't, they, are, they are pretty fresh, okay? So, yeah, this is their 7.5 ounces, and this was a dollar. Okay. Then I got some healthy storage slider bags. These are great to put, um, use for sandwich bags or anything like that you want to use it for. Um, I use this for so many different things. There are six in here. They use, sometimes they have the ones that have eight in it, okay? But this is a good buy, so you may want to check that out. I like the slider thing, too. And they're pretty, pretty strong, so you may want to check that out. I got two cookie pans for those cookies. And hopefully she can make them. At least I thought I had two. It must be just one in here. So we got one of these. Okay. A cookie tray. And that's by Cooking Concepts. Okay. Just in case you want to know. Then I got me some more of these Lynn wipes by Zest, which they sell at Walmart and which I always use. It, but Dollar Tree started selling them. 16 in a pack for a dollar. So I'll pick them up there now. And I like the way they work. They work pretty good. At first I didn't like this type. Because the other ones are a little different, but these are okay too. Matter of fact, they clean my glasses better. And they don't mess up the little extra stuff that I, that I have in my glasses. Then I got my daughter some Color Makes Flavor Lip Gloss. She got this kind too. I don't know why, because she already had one. So that's pretty cute. And that's in the, um, it's clear, but it's um, paraben, what is it, paraben free, which is a good thing. And hopefully, I don't know about the other lip gloss. I need to check it out to see if that is paraben. Um, Hair fan, whatever, however you pronounce it, free. Then I got some trash bags, the regular ones that I normally buy for the trash container. There's 10 in here for the 32 ounce trash containers by good sense. These work pretty good, they're pretty strong. I mean, I don't have to worry about um, my bags um, tearing or anything with these, okay? So I've been buying these and we, we are satisfied with these. And there are 10 in here, okay? Then I bought a bunch of this tissue again, like five packs of this good sense, not good sense the home store bath tissue, which is some good tissue to use, four in the row, I mean four in the pack for one dollar is a good deal, okay? And it lasts a long time and it's not too hard, not too soft. I love this, along with the paper towel. Okay, the paper towel is okay, 
I buy sometimes, sometimes I don't, but I always buy that tissue. And I bought some more fiddle faddle, caramel popcorn with peanuts. This is pretty fresh. Uh, I got this the other day too. This expires February 14th, no, February 16th, 2018. Okay, so that's pretty good. It'll always be fresh. And let's see, what else? Oh, yeah, I got a happy Halloween, a happy fall um, pumpkin thing. And I actually think I got this. Oh, yeah, I got this at Dollar Tree. Yeah, because they had this out. And I like this. And I said I wasn't going to buy any more fall stuff, but this is so cute. I couldn't resist it. So I got this for fall time. Okay. And I got some more um, laundry detergent by LA Totally's Awesome. This stuff right here is pretty good. It's an oxygen scent. This is pretty good. They claim it washes 32 loads. I don't know about that because I'm always washing and stuff. But anyway, it's pretty good. It does the job. Okay, on lightly soil. I don't know about really heavy, heavy soil things, but on metal, uh, regular soil items and things and lightly soil, it works pretty good. Okay, and a good scent. And I think that's about it, guys. I think I showed you everything I bought on this Dollar Tree haul. So all I want to say is thank you for tuning in to my channel. Um, you can thumbs up this video. If you're not subbed to me, you can sub to my channel. This video is about to go off in a couple seconds. I probably have to add the other part on to it because I wanted to tell you about my shea butter and everything. But I'm going to break this video off right here in a minute when it runs out. And then I'm going to go ahead and tell you what I was going to tell you. But anyway, as I was going to say, um, yeah, check this video out. Ho hopefully you watch the entire thing. Hopefully you see some stuff that you like and you go to Dollar Tree and pick it up, okay? Alrighty, let me go ahead and do part two add on to here real quick. Because I had so yeah, I had to come back um because my video was only going up to 16 minutes. But anyway, I'm trying to hurry up so it won't go past 20. But anyway, um yeah, as I was going to tell you about the shea butter, I attached some information down below where I basically told you about um the sites that you can go check out information about my shea butter in liquid black soap. And I think I don't know if she yeah, on the sites. I don't know if she put... Did you put pictures on the end of the other video? Because I didn't check it. Yeah. yeah, I think she included pictures at the end of the video. And I'm going to do the same thing on this one as well. And a couple weeks from now, I don't know if I'm going to start actually selling the products before I move or after. I'm thinking after I move. I'm not sure yet because of all the stuff I have to do with the next couple weeks. But anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know and see what it looks like. The natural raw type, you know, with no added um, chemicals or harmful ingredients or anything in it okay and um that information where you can look up everything on facebook and on instagram and my website is all below okay and again i'm going to price this stuff um at affordable price i'm still trying to trying to figure out the um, size and all that the amount and all that because i think for right now i'm gonna do the liquid soap in eight ounce but the Shea butter. I'm still trying to figure that out because the way is the the way it. I have to the way it's coming because it's not like some shea butter is in that creamy form. Okay, I mean I probably could do that like that, but I don't know the process of doing that like that and what did it take away from it. But like I said, once I figure out how I'm gonna do everything, then I'll you know know the size, the quantity, and everything. well not the quantity but the size that it would be in. Okay, and all that information is below. And I think that's all about it, guys. And you have a, a nice remaining weekend. I'll see you guys again in two weeks. Oh, let's see. And I think that's about it. You know what I'm about to say in a minute. I'm just trying to make sure I covered everything. All right. And happy birthday again to all of the August babies. I forgot to say that. I don't know if I said it. I may have said it in my other video. But if I didn't, happy birthday to you. Okay. And I think that's it. You know what I'm about to say. One, two, three. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. And I am... This is Shaysu. I'm so hoarse. And I am out. Bye, guys. My hand is always in the way. Always doing bloopers.
just to beat you home. But would you mind if I waited?